Our world is full of infinite sounds. But how do we actually perceive them? Sounds are collected by the outer ear, which consists of the auricle and the external auditory canal. The sound is guided through the ear canal to the middle ear. The sound arrives at the eardrum, a flexible circular membrane, which starts to vibrate when sound waves strike it. The sound waves are passed on by the movement of the eardrum to the middle ear. In the middle ear are three tiny bones, referred to as the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. Collectively, they are known as the acicular chain. These form a bridge from the eardrum to the entrance of the inner ear. Their interaction increases and amplifies the sound vibrations further before these are relayed fully into the inner ear via the oval window. In the inner ear is the cochlea, which is similar in shape to a snail shell. It contains several membranous sections which are filled with watery fluids. When the sound waves vibrate the oval window, the fluid begins to move, thus setting minute hair cells in motion. These hair cells then transform the vibrations into electrical impulses, which are sent via the auditory nerve and onto the brain. What we call noises are actually just sound waves, which are transmitted through the air. Five, four, 